Hello, this is Nathan Frank. Um, this is a video shout out to all the level designers out there. If you want to start level designing, uh, email me and I'll get you a build. And this is a tutorial to sort of get started. Not much a tutorial as much as a, uh, a starting point, something to go off of. I'm not going to handhold you, mostly because I don't have screen capturing software right now. All I have is fraps. And yes. So I may actually do a more detailed tutorial later. For now, let me just load up that classic level, classic classic, that I showed off in my developer log. It looks a little different. You see there is a light here. Um, and not only is there one spawn point, but there is two spawn points. One is higher than the other. <laughs> not that that matters too much. Um, the interesting thing is that all the the lights, the sunlight, the point light, and the spawn points, the scale of the level, um, and the ambient color is all controlled by XML right now. So when you create a a level and save it as a .dae, and it is um, loaded in the game, um, if I hit tab here, it tells me like the, the level is loaded. Um, it'll also tell you that it's generating a new XML um, if it's your first time loading up the level. Um, and uh, yes, once that XML is generated, then you can modify the XML. Or if you so choose, you can start from scratch with, with an XML that is named the same as the level, except instead of .dae, have .xml. And you can start fiddling around with variables. Um, I tried to made the make the default XML uh, contain all the elements that are available to be to be modified right now. Um, so you can you can add on lights, take away lights. Um, you, <laughs> I'm sure you you probably don't want the red light that's default. You can take that red light out um, from the XML file. Pretty easy stuff. Um, in order to uh, see the see the changes of the XML, you'd have to uh, re re reload the level, which means you just have to go to select level and and click on the level again. It's actually pretty easy, and you can see your changes once you save immediately. Um, so right now, in order to change the position of lights and stuff, you'd you'd have to change the X, Y, and Z values. Um, you, I can't place lights or take away lights in game yet. Um, in order to smooth that process along, I created a little designer console here in the corner. That just shows off the position of the camera at the time, um, and what's more interesting, what the position of what what you're pointing at. So, so, so the point on the wall that I'm aiming at right now, the position is shown. So if I wanted to place a point light there, then I could just aim at it, uh, kind of eyeball the the position that's showing up at pointing at position up there, and and put it in the XML. And then the light would be there, and I could I could adjust the X, Y, and Z values as I so choose after that. Um, also, if you're getting strange bugs, something's not loading, you might want to check out the the console, which is uh, the tilde or the tiddly. I'm not sure. I like tiddly personally, and it should show you if there's any crazy bugs going on. And if there's some crazy problems, you might want to get co get in contact with me with a screen capture, and I'll be happy to receive any of that stuff um, in email or probably probably just post it on IndieDB somewhere or as a private message. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you're an aspiring level designer and you want to try out designing some levels or I just want to tool around with the levels that are already there, you can get in touch with me by email or IndieDB or YouTube and I can get you uh, a build of the game for you, to, for you to try out and for you to screw around with and I'll be releasing a, a public uh, build that that people can just get without asking for uh, probably probably within a week, so that's kind of exciting. And then you can all be shooting each other in deathmatch, and and hopefully it'll be a blast. And if it isn't, <laughs> I'll modify. It'll be fun. All right. Thank you and thank you for for <laughs> tolerating this long, muttery video because it's late at night and my parents are trying to sleep, and I live at home because it's cheap and I shouldn't feel ashamed for living at home. Okay, bye.